So that's where we'll keep it, 24. So that board will be 24 plus what, 12. So that'll give us 36 or three feet. So we'll go and cut three foot sections and we'll nail from outside here and toenail onto this top plate here. And then we'll put blocking in between Third each measurement. One. We're not exactly 24. So of course, what we'll do is find, we need to make sure this is true and level. And then I got up here, measured, this one's level. This gable end truss is level. We come over to here, we measure this one. And you, you guys need to get a four foot level for sure. It's a good investment, but look how out of level we are. But what it is, is the top of this truss needs to go over this way towards the gable end. What had happened is our two foot marks on our top plates were marked out perfectly. We did not scab in this board perfectly on two foot. I mean, we just kind of ballparked it to, to temporary break. Three, look. So what I'll do is just pull all of these trusses at once because they'll, they'll move together. It is one day later, yes. Um, I left you where we had to uh, level off all of these trusses, uh, which we did. I put cross bracing in one off from the center here out to the wall over here and vice versa on the other side to lock in our corner here i've got all all of these are dead nuts level all the way down the line all i had to do was readjust this gable get that completely in line and then i we left all this bracing on and i took a clamp and i clamped it against the gable end wall which i had 100 percent true we braced it from the from the outside and from the inside. Got some clamps and I clamped it all the way over and drew all each one of these trusses back to level. Situation with a drop gable truss, you will have three and a half inches or whatever minus the thickness of your truss material. You'll have that, it'll be that equivalent, in this case, three and a half inches shorter. Um, it will be shorter. So what you'll do is you'll bring these purlins, I'm calling them purlin, I don't know what the terminology is, but I know this is how you do it and this is done correctly. So anyway, you bring these purlins out from your first structural truss, from here all the way out. Make sure you make them even all the way up. To have this fascia board on, in this case a two by, two by 10, I'm sorry, two by eight. In order to get this on, you'll have to run purlins from your first structural truss that will overlap this gable truss. But as you work your way down, you'll wanna put these spacers in. They'll space you equally down the row that'll also keep these purlins from twisting over time. Board was really, really, really warped. So that's why you don't put this on first. You're gonna build each one of these purlins exactly the same length, get your blocking done, and then you're gonna slap your fascia on. This board, it was warped, it was kind of, it was bowed actually, it wasn't warped, it was just bowed out at the top. So you'll wanna kind of, you'll, you'll um, fix it down the row as you nail. You'll have to make adjustments. And I'm just kind of sitting up here in a vicarious position. I've gotta put, so this is uh, one purl in here that I'm sitting on and I have to put one more purl in there the advantages that I've noticed to doing it this way, this, this is structural. This, you could walk on this, you can jump up and down on this end. If you did a ladder version of this, if you did a ladder, it, you would not be able to do that. Um, I'm pretty confident. You jump up and down on that, you're gonna rip your gable off and it's gone. So if you live in high wind, extreme weather, um, you're gonna wanna do it this way because this is rock solid. So I'm just kind of bantering up on the top of a roof to myself by now for you guys. So I think I'll call it quits there. Here's an outside view of what my, my version of a, basically a ladder would be. Um, our fascia board will go on here, but this is the same view from the outside. Even, I gotta go out and finish that one. That's a one foot overhang to the edge of the fascia board. 
this is how you do a drop end gable. That's what I got to do over here as well. We are good. Dude, I am getting swarmed by bees right now. I don't know if you see that. I have no idea what is going on. Early fall, these bees are they're going nuts. Look at this. What the hell's going on? 